Jojo Mimo Nilo Lachi Jojo Jose Chen Mare Monza Dona Nyuka Jinye Jose Rachena Dona Dachen Sajo Tonson Yonten Luzo Jose Tove Dajodanjunia Jesu <laughs> First things, it is uh, always uh, good to have uh, right motivation by thinking for the benefit of other sentient beings. One wishes to achieve highest attainment, such as Buddha. For that purpose, I want to learn this Dharma, and uh, after learning, I will put into the practice of my uh, best of my ability. So thinking that one is uh, as a requirement to receive the Mahayana Dharma teaching. With this today, what we are going to um, <coughs> um, learn is uh, how to offer once the uh, prostration toward the, the um, object of prostration, such as Guru, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, and toward the deities to them. <coughs> so, um, uh, Generally, the prostration is that the very important part of practice. It is also that the best uh, method of purifying the bhangis once on the negativity <coughs> which we may have accumulated from the past through body, voice, and mind. And uh, um, because of that, it also comes to every practice, such as the seven form prayer. So the very beginning comes the prostration. So um, when we do the prostration, it is also that good to think what we are doing with the each and every time, with the uh, physically, verbally, and mentally. So here it's explained about the some aspiration, and also that the each point that uh, what you think. Uh, what to express. That was written by the Satya Pandita. At the beginning, uh, Satya Pandita put uh, the mantra. That mantra is uh, the, the, uh, called the mantra of uh, transforming uh, uh, the one's prostration to a thousand times, or the, the, to multiply the thousand times by recitation of this mantra. These mantras uh, that I will recite in, t in Sanskrit <coughs> at the very beginning it has Namo Manjushriye, uh, which is uh, that uh, Manjushri, prostration to uh, Manjushri. Nama Sushriye, Nama Utama Shriye, so far. So these are the three things. Uh, so that's the basically uh, transforming that mantra. Uh, <coughs> prostration. And they and then also that has the addition of that. Namo Gurube, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dharmaya, Namo Sangaya. So Guru, Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. So Namo prostration. So that we have. Then Next one is that Dagi Kunchosum Dagi Choksum Tambar Chan Sarabe Da Sotan Roku Didip Tambar Shop. By 
offering of my prostration toward the <coughs> um, the exalted three jewel uh, Buddha Dharma and Sangha. So that um, Guru Buddha Dharma and Sangha um, by offering prostration toward them. That's all drug on the dip top or so. May I and all sentient beings be purified uh, the negative negativities and the obscurations. So that's the our um, the aspiration by offering to the prostration to Buddha Dharma and Sangha. May I and all sentient beings be pu purified their um, negativities and the obscuration. Negativities you know, such as that is you know, negativities that perform through body, voice, mind, and obscurations are the defilements, and then also the <coughs> obscuration of cognition does not be, be purified. So that's one. So. Then, next one, we have La Nyambar Tharma Jarvaya Tapta Hirap Sungyuk Toba Shop. By the folding my two hands and equally uh, the folding hands. So folding hand, uh, there are the number of the different folding hands. This is not Buddhist gesture. Buddhist gesture and there's also the cool <coughs> uh, kind of that song. Yidata. <laughs> so, but anyway, that is not a uh, Buddhist perform. But this way of the perform the <coughs> gesture of respect is this thumb put it together and that put it inside that hand now fold equally and then upward like this. Not this way. So upward. Dagi. La ni two hands, folding hand equally, by folding hand equally, two hands. Top the hirap sungyuk toba May we obtain the integration of method and wisdom. So that's the uh, pr prayers, and you know, the purpose of the doing that one. May we obtain the integration of accumulation of merit and wisdom. So that's what it means. Method and wisdom. So you call it folded hand. So that one is prayer. Then next one is Talmo Jyuzo to Jarva Shincho Deva Jing Jiva Sho. Talmo Jyuzo to Jarva. So it's a funny thing. Put it that the uh, folded hand placed to the crown by and the folded hand place on the crown. May we be born in the uh, exalted realm of Sukhavati, Buddha Mitava's realm. May we be born in that pure, exalted realm of uh, blissful. <coughs> <That we are. coughs> so, what it means that folded hand, folding two hands, the purpose of that one is. Uh, is that the two uh, obtained that the accumulation of merit and wisdom e equally integration and the place of that same folded hand to the uh, crown as the uh, we cause it to be born into that blissful realm of exalted and sukhavati. Then Tharmo mensam travar jarawai luji dikdip thamji tharvar shok. Tharmo, that folded hand, uh, place to forehead with the eyebrow, fold forehead. Luji dikdip thamji tharvar shok. May we be purified all the negativities and obscurations of the body. So I and all sentient beings, whatever they accumulated that negativities through the body, such as the killing, the stealing, and so forth, may they be purified. 
Tarmon Dembiti the Jerwai by folded by placing the folded hand at the throat. Not the dip time to May we purify the all the negative and obscurations of the voice. So that we have such as that the negative deed is that <coughs> Uh, lying and harsh word and so forth, mm. and their result, obscurations, obscure the mind. May we be purified those ones. Consequence. Tarmo nyingeti the jarwai yeji digdeptam pi parvasho. By placing the folded hand at the heart, may we purify the all the negative deeds in the Obscurations of the mind. So body, voice, the mind, such as that harmful thought, breathing, and so forth. This way may we be purified. So that through body, voice, the mind. It also that tells us the purpose, why we need to place that folded hand to the calm, forehead, Throat and at heart. Many we need to purify that the negative deeds through which we may have accumulated through body, voice, and the mind. That's the one. And the <coughs> reason they do that forehead, throat, and heart. The forehead is that the principle of the body is that the head. And so because of that. And although the body is the every part of body is the body, but yeah, above here the all the sensory organs, and then the forehead is the center of that. So the physical all the activities may be purified by that, and then throat is the source of all the voice comes from there. So they are purified that. Heart is then mentally. <coughs> We basically mind. There is not any uh, substance, but it is mainly uh, mind is goes with that. Uh, the blood and air. So wherever it goes inside the vein. So heart is that the center of the vein and uh, generate. <coughs> blood and air, so that's a, the purify all the mental obscurations. Then the next one, we have Tarmo Jerva Soso Chewa Yi Zogu Nijin Rodong Chewa Shou. With a splitting, at the separating that folded hand and individually. May we be able to obtain, may we be able to perform the benefit of the being through two Rupa Kayas, Samboga Kaya, which is that's, uh, that's the um, excellent form of the <coughs> enjoyment body. And then also the Nirmanakaya, emanation body. Through these two, uh, perform the benefit of sentient being until the end of samsara. So the, the same way that may we, uh, separating these folded two hands, may we be able to perform the welfare of benefit by the two forms of the holy body. So that's Gangi Puno Sala Zobai Saju Lama Remji Dobosho. Two legs and knees touching to the floor. May we be obtained, gradually uh, travel, may we be gradually travel on the <coughs> five paths and ten stages. gradually be able to travel. So
So we also have to gradually touch it to two hands, knees, and touch it to the floor. So that we wish to obtain gradually travel on the five path, ten stages. Path of accumulation, path of application, path of seeing, path of meditation, path of accomplishing. Then also the ten stages of bodhisattvas. These are the gradually be able to travel. Govotarva sala tsubai juki kundu muchu satapshok. My forehead placing to the soil. May we be able to obtain the eleventh ever illuminating stage of it. Um, ever, ever illuminating? Eleventh stage. Which is the, the Buddhahood. Ten stages of that Bodhisattva stage and uh, ever illuminating stage that eleventh <coughs> is that Buddha from Parimitayana's <coughs> point of view. So in other words, uh, be able to obtain the Buddhahood. Yela Jabu Jangum Chepa in Telenam Hill Yunjin the Barsha by banded in ex stretching out of the four limbs, four limbs, Tulin Nam Yunjin the Barsha spontaneously be able to accomplish the four types of activities. Four types of activities of the Buddha's activities, peaceful activities, increasing activities, magnetizing activities, activities that subjugate negative forces. These are the four types of activities. Spontaneously be able to accomplish. So by stating out Bended in both hand and legs. By uh, stretching out and bended in all the my uh, vents and channels, may we be able to untie all the Van knots. This means that we, ordinary beings, we, vents are the not completely kind of that some straightening. They, they call some they have a blockage. When the, when we reach to the higher level, such as the Bodhisattva and Buddhahood, all these van knots are the completely uh, untied. So easy to uh, movement element in there so that's what the saying may we be able to untie the, all the van nuts gatse uma jeku chepa yi gatse uma jeku chepa yi gatse backbones supposed to be the central channel to there too by Jekoks means, how do you say, straightening up and bend it in, straightening up and bend it in. By doing straightening and bend it of the <coughs> backbones, uh, the center channel. Long namalu umatsubasho, may we be able to insert all the heirs without any exceptions be able to insert in in the center of channel. Sala told me Yalla Dambayi. Then getting up, up after touching to the floor, raising up word. Korwan Talam Topashok. 
may we uh, be able to obtain the liberation by not abiding in the samsara. Tenda lemon tomar jebai, shivar men simpin jambar shok. Repeat, repeatedly offering the prostration that many, uh, that many times, may we able to rescue sentient beings by not abiding in the peace. So it means that not abiding in the nirvana, and then uh, rescue sentient beings from samsara. Dagi Jiang Cha Prabhu given to by the uh, merit of the virtues uh, that I offer full prostration <coughs> to what the Tibra names. Nekap Tsere Ni Min Ponsosho. For the time being, may we obtain magnificent. Health, long and longevity. Chetse Devachi in the Jini Jam, Zobu Sanji Kompanyu Tobisho. And after death, may we be born into, in the Sukhavati, the blissful, realm of blissful, and there swiftly able to achieve the perfect and fully enlightenment. Without. May all sentient beings be possessed the happiness. And always be empty that <coughs> uh, every lower birth. Every lower birth so be, be empty. Chanjup Samba Kana Sujup, Tedakuni Banam Rabjuji. Those Bodhisattvas, whoever dwell in anywhere, may they be able to accomplish their aspirations, all of their aspirations. Sarva Mangalam, Sajapin Takuna Jati. So that was the one thing. And, uh, Complete and uh, written by the Sajja Pandita Kumajansi. Uh, so that's the one, see, actually, uh, explain about the how one should do prostration and then also the, the, at the same time recitation uh, and then also the visualization. Generally speaking, that in the practice, supposed to integration of many practices that integration of body, voice, and mind. So first station is also uh, you can do that the integration of the body, voice, and mind as the meditation. Physically, uh, perform the gesture of respect and prostration. Verbally recite these verses. And then mentally, also the imagining each of these time to um, different visualizations as, as its aspirations goes with that mind. So in this way, that the one's uh, body, voice, and mind, everything comes that some integration. And then also the another important part is that one should think that one's uh, doing this prostration is not only one body, but one's body is eminent as many as the atoms of the entire the universe. So by thinking that then that's doing the prostration to the infinite Buddha and Bodhisattvas with praising their perfection of the, uh, the qualities and then these prayers. So thinking that once doing one prostration also the multiplied 
multi tooling. So otherwise, that's just thinking I'm doing one frustration. Of course, that has also the benefit. But it's, um, you know, by imagining that multi uh, <coughs> for the body and voice reside and mentally, that will be much more powerful. And then also the purpose of doing that one is that uh, I'm doing this presentation on behalf of all the other sentient beings without any exception. So thinking that one is also will be the, the benefit of other sentient beings. So, <coughs> uh, so that's basically one. And then if this one, if one wishes to do the addition of sevenfold prayer, that is, uh, we can do that at the beginning or that at the end. Uh, so, otherwise, it just this is also that enough you know, for as the frustration. So that one. Any question? then maybe we will do this some uh, with the recitation. So I will you know, chant that once in Tibetan and then also that uh, we do the presentation on the presentation board. So you can see how it